Yo, what is up guys, Dark here, I'm back with another commentary, but FFA on regret for you guys, and I'm playing against a lot of known people in the community here, a lot of big names that I see a lot from playing FFA, so yeah, I'm playing against Captain Anarchy too, and then I think Rippin Heads, if you guys know who he is, I think he works at Ready Up Live, but it was a really good game, and um, I'm just here to give my free-for-all tips I ha that I have, you know, um, I feel like FFA is one of those frustrating playlists that a lot of people don't like playing, because, you know, you just get shot in the back basically the whole time, but um, I'm going to try giving you guys some tips to kind of help you guys combat that and kind of hold out to they reduce the FFA player numbers because right now it's eight people and they're going to take two people out like it was back in the day and just kind of lower it and make it a lot easier to play so you're getting a lot more, you know, one-on-one -on -one engagement. So um, in this free fall game, I did really good um, KD-wise. I honestly think if you get like over a 1.0 KD in FFA, that's good. But if you're trying to win FFAs by like getting 2.0s and stuff, that really won't happen at a certain level. Like you'll just match nothing but really good players. So it's really hard to do that, and you just kind of have to live with it, you know, and you'll basically trade every time you get a kill, and that's really what you want to try doing, just getting a kill every single time you die, that's really, the first thing I want to tell you guys, like, if you get a trade that's perfect, perfect, my bad, um, but if you get a trade that's perfect for you and your game, you don't really want to try, um, you know, just sitting there and getting the kill all the time, even though you know you can't or you're outmatched, like, go for those melees, rush into those battles where you think you get one kill or steal a kill, and that's one thing about free for all a lot of people don't do, if there's two people in a fight, I'm so sorry for my squeaky chair, but if there's two people in a fight, go ahead and engage that fight, and try picking off one of those kills, because they're both going to be weak, they put shots into each other, you know, so I really believe that in free for all you really should play the spawns, especially in Halo 5, um, right now I'm just sitting here on red car side, just kind of watching it and just kind of patrolling the spawns. I ignored that guy top man. I don't really think he's too much of a threat to me. But one thing I've noticed in Halo 5, like that guy, he just pushed me right there. And we ended up trading. My aim was kind of bad there. But um, one thing in Halo 5, I know a lot of people do, since they have a new thrusting build and you can move a lot faster than you normally could, once you're weak, people just straight charge you. So kind of be prepared for that. They get a few shots on you. And kind of use that to your advantage and throw a nade down on the feet. So right here I catch Captain Anarchy off spawn. Uh, I didn't really get the kill on him. I just tried nading it. I may have naded a little bit too far on there. But um, right here I get in the fight with the overshield guy. Really not much I could do. I thought maybe I could put a few shots in him or something. So if I spawn by him I could maybe clean him up. But that happens. And one thing I really want to make sure you guys know in FFA is the remain calm. Like it's really not that big of a deal if you get a you know stupid death or something. You could respawn and get a lucky spawn and get like three kills in a row so really don't get too mad and try not to get frustrated and right here as you guys can saw as you guys can saw what as you guys saw right there um i used my ar at close range and that kid made a mistake not kid but that guy used a mistake of making you know using an assault rifle and to try killing me and right there just kind of choked on the kill but i got it anyways and that's all that matters so in free fall i really recommend you guys keep a like a calm head just relax, just play the game, kind of joke around your deaths. That's what I did this game, and I'm starting to do recently. Um, and it really helped me reach, I'm almost a champion in FFA now, and it's really fun to play FFA for me. I really feel like it makes you a lot of, you know, it makes you a smarter player, and kind of makes you, you know, makes you more aware of your surroundings um, when you go to 4v4s, and makes your shot a lot better, in my opinion. But um, in FFA, it's really important to keep a calm head, because the players that tilt are normally the ones that lose. And you know, if you have a negative mindset, like, oh my gosh, of course I spawned there. You're gonna, you're just gonna keep getting bad spawns, and that's gonna be the way it is. So I kind of just joke around about my deaths and stuff. And if you spawn bottom field, I recommend you get to base as fast as possible to maybe clean up a kill. Um, I, and I just saw Ripping Head spawn there. He probably just spawned there recently, and I cleaned him up. And right there, I'm surprised that in the second aid didn't kill him. But you know, that's something you have to get over. So I really recommend if you spawn bottom field, just get away from bottom field. You don't want to be caught really on the bottom of the map because. You're kind of going to be cleaned up unless you're going for overshield and that's also something i recommend in a free for all time your power weapons guys like our power ups my bad or power weapons either or but um if you guys don't time your power weapons uh it's gonna be kind of hard for you especially if you spawn near it you're really not gonna know if it's up or not you can just walk away from it and kind of give up on an opportunity for overshield or something so that's one thing i started doing in free for all and i really think is an essential to really be a to be you know, a champion level uh free for all player so um, I, I think I did it once this game, but oh yeah, and the reason why I zoomed up when I went up that lift, I kind of wanted to, you know, didn't I didn't want to pop up or spring up as high. I just kind of wanted to go on the lift a little bit faster. So right here I'm just nading it because maybe there was a guy spawning there because it's a consistent spawn point. And right there that guy's weak, and I kind of predicted predicted that if someone else saw that, they saw that I put shots in them, and 
Um, you know, they're just gonna clean them up and nade them, and that's gonna happen a lot. People are gonna steal your kills, but that's free for all for you, you know. Um, there's a lot of luck involved too, um, and people you meet, like they may be weak, they may not, they may have over shield, you don't know. So right there, um, I was weak. I really, I was caught between a rock and a hard place right there. I was kind of two people spawning in between me, so it was kind of weird. Um, also, I recommend free for all. Like, if you play really good people like this, I am like like I am in this game. I'm really excited to play them. I'm very excited to play them. Um, but don't let that excitement kind of get to you or nervousness. Don't be nervous to play anyone, no matter how good they are. Don't be nervous to play a pro. Um, take that on as a challenge, which I did this game. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm playing against all these known guys or whatever, all these guys I've seen before in free falls and stuff, and I saw how good they are on YouTube or Twitch or whatever, but I didn't let that really get to me. I kind of made that as a motivator to beat these guys, and that's something I could really tell you guys. Um, use that as motivators. Not saying I'm better than them or anything, or you know, I got them to, in this one game alone. So it's not necessarily there. I'm gonna beat them every single time I play them, but just use that as a motivator to make yourself a lot, you know, a lot better as a player and more motivated to get better. So right here, I think I was sitting on overshield. I really didn't know um, the time exactly was coming up. I knew it's around like. Um, by the way, guys, if you guys don't know, overshield and stuff is on like a two minute timer. So if you don't know, um, if you don't really know, um, you know, I'm trying to explain. Like if you pick up overshield two minutes exactly, it'll spawn after pretty much. So it really spawn in intervals of like five, seven, nine, twelve, and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of sitting on overshield, and I see that it's up, and no one else is going for it, and that's what really separated me in this game, apart from other players. I was just sitting on overshield, and this overshield, I think, I think it helps me get a few kills right here. I'm kind of choking on shots. I um, I still would kill him regardless, but I still have half my overshield left. Kind of anticipating the spawn. People like spawning bottom car side right there, and I clean up ripping heads. And I noticed there was a guy shooting him with a fuel rod from behind. I knew he he saw like I me. Mean, he was thinking like ripping heads put shots in Dar. Uh, I'm gonna push him right afterwards. So I naded right there, and I mean, little did he know I had overshield and I had a really good nade placement, so he died. So right here I'm just kind of trying to put pressure on the situation, kind of picking up a kill here. Um, in free fall, you may need to crouch a lot. Right here, I'm just predicting that the guy was there. I saw him on my radar, and a lot of people like going to that jump up instead of the big lift because the big lift exposes you a little bit more and kind of leaves you floating there. So, um, I really recommend you guys try getting fuel rod too. Fuel rod's a really good power up and kind of just staying in the paces with it, especially on um, truth. I'm um, not truth, what is this? Regret. Oh, <laughs> my bad. Um, so, staying in the base with fuel rod is really effective too, but just be careful like of spawners on like the car side or people who spawn bottom field pushing the base. So, always be aware of that. I also like sitting car side a lot because really people don't spawn up here and don't really disturb me too much. So I just kind of patrol each base and kind of try picking up kills. And if I don't see people at like one base, I'll just sprint to the other. And that's kind of what I did here. And always pick up the storm rifle, guys. Storm rifle is really and really an effective gun in Halo 5. If, I think that should be considered a power weapon instead of a regular gun. It's much better than the assault rifle. So I did what I told you guys earlier. I just joined this battle and I could have got two or three kills. I just really didn't know who to shoot at first. My mind was going all over the place. And I really need to work on that as a player, just determining who to shoot first. So but I picked up a kill and that's all that matters. As long as you get a kill pretty much every single time you you know die, that's that's good enough. So right there I get a perfect on ripping heads. I kinda of throw the nade a little bit too far. If I threw it a little bit earlier, or like throw it like threw it like closer to the ground, it would have bounced into his face and I probably would have got a double kill, but it happens. So right here, I'm just kind of like, I saw the guy get shot with fuel. I thought the guy was top fuel with it, but it turns out he was just sitting DMR and it dropped right to me and it was kind of convenient. So right there, I'm just patrolling spawns. And right here, I just rushed this guy with fuel rod because there's really not much he could do. Um, I honestly, with the fuel rod, you want to get as close as people to possible to give them a little time to react to the fuel rod shots because the fuel rod shots are really slow. So just get, see like every time you guys see me use it, I get close to these guys. as I get them as close as possible to these guys. So, um, you know, they limit their options because if there's a fear rod coming at them, there's really not much they could do. And that guy had overshield. I thought I got the game right there. And it goes to show you how towards the end of the game, the game momentum could just swing. So the guy ends up killing me, picks up the fear rod. Uh, I think he chokes on one of the kills and he doesn't pick it up. And right here, I thought I was going to lose. And I saw this guy turn the corner and I, I got him. I just dropped my control. I'm like, yes, amazing win. Because I just got really lucky. The guy turned the corner the second I spawned and I killed him. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that free fall gameplay. I'm gonna do a lot more free fall um, gameplay because free fall is probably my favorite mode in Halo 5 right now, and I just really hope you guys get better. So I'm getting close to champion in free fall. I can't wait to make more free fall videos, guys. I'm out. Peace.
sana, she kill me once.